What's up, all you... Shit, unplugged my headphones. The hell can I do anything right? God bless its technology. Too advanced for me. Plug it the f There we go, Jesus Christ. So what's up, all you treacherous filchers? You treacherous little filcher. And welcome back to the channel. Now, I'm surprised that I'm even actually putting my face on a camera for this video because yes, the title is true. We did everything that we could to turn Skyrim into an X-rated erotic dating roleplay simulator. And in doing so, we did confirm that I am going to be single. Probably for a really, really long time. But regardless, let's get into it. I hope you guys enjoy the video. And if you do, hit the like button, subscribe, you know, the blah, 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 blah. It's just video time. This is like an actual character creator. Oh, there we go. Oh, now it's just Oblivion all over again. <laughs> yeah, it looks like he's got hockey pucks in his cheeks. Like his entire face is calloused. I'm just maxing out everything. Oh, okay, if we increase his age, he immediately turns into just a disaster. Oh my god, it just gets worse. <laughs> he looks so miserable. This is why we gotta get him a girlfriend. Or a boyfriend. I have several names on this list. Kinda looks like a clicker from uh, Last of Us. I like the war paint. I mean, the war paint and the hair inside the face? That's just diabolical. Brognar of Sweden, I guess. Oh god, that's fucking terrifying. It's time to go, you know, find some love. We're gonna be a property owner, and yes, I did look at the romance mod, and owning property does make you sexier. Frognar, it's time to go out on the town. He's struggled for too long to find love. All right, so we've set our speech skill to 100, because based on the mod, that gives us the optimal chance at achieving sexy time with anybody that we want, but we need gifts. We gotta just search our home to see if we can find a good gift. Oh, a cream treat? Not the only creamed treat I'm gonna be giving him. <laughs> I can't, uh, I can't keep making jokes. I have nothing good in this house that I could give somebody as a sexy present. <gasps> Sweet roll. Wine and a cup. <laughs> okay. All right, we're gonna hit the town. So I have a few names on my list that we're gonna be targeting today. Nazim, because of his elegance. Nazim is clearly alone, right? Nazim is such an ass that there's no shot that he's just not a lonely person. Bellathor. Let me know. Oh, I see something that I like, Bellathor. He's a store owner in town. He's well known. The Skyrim community loves him. You know, hopefully he's not married. I don't know if he is, but uh, we'll have to see. Sadia as well. If it's work you're looking for, I'm looking for a relationship, Sadia. All right, can't you tell? So Sadia, she's an honest worker. She's hiding from the uh, what are they called? Those Red Guard people. It would be kind of like a Romeo Juliet situation. The last person that we're looking into dating is Irolith. See, she's already ignoring us. Now she's gonna be a tough stone to turn. We want to go after her because of the challenge. We think because of her cold-hearted nature that she probably has failed to court anybody in her life, and she's probably also incredibly lonely. I I'm l I'm looking for somebody that's gonna take this relationship seriously. Obviously, you know, someone that's looking for love. I don't want people that are here for the wrong reasons. You know, maybe they just want to get attention or they want to become famous. This is Frognar's dating experience. Yes, I am absolutely going to censor anything that needs to be censored because I've seen images of what these mods can do and holy shit. Yes, I do have my coffee for this. Cheers, if you have your coffee as well. Let me know in the comments what you're drinking today. So with this mod, if you press the K button, it opens up this other dialogue menu. So we have a couple of options here. Exit, romance, interact. I don't think we can start with romance. We can't go a little bit too quick. We'll just give him a present. We'll give him a sweet roll and some raw beef. Hopefully he appreciates it and he's not too clout district for us. Yes, yes, I haven't got all day. Oh, Nazim, you play hard to get so much. We can compliment him or we can insult him. Let's compliment him. Oh, so immersive. Ask about sexual experience. Ask about current relationships. Okay. What's he, let's see what he's got. Nazim is married. I wanted to pause the video here so I could explain a little bit because my face cam is actually covering up the visual cues that this mod offers up. When you ask for important information from someone in this mod, I typically respond to all of their responses and read them out loud. So you won't see the visual cues, you'll just see my stupid face cause I'm an idiot and blocked the visual cues with my face cam. Oh shit. Wait, Nazim, what are you doing on my TV show if you're already married? See, I think he might be here for the wrong reasons, but that doesn't mean that I don't want to be a homewrecker. Well, I, I do have my speech at 99, so maybe I can get away with it. Let's ask about sexual experience. Nazim says he is far more interested in love than sex. Damn, I didn't know that Nazim was married. How the hell? Who the fuck married Nazim? Who married this guy? Wait, who's Nazim's wife? I work with my mother. 
Uh, cool. Is your mom single? Because it's rough out here, man. It's rough out here for my guy. <laughs> my dude, Frognar. He's not finding anyone. Okay, we're gonna look this up real quick. Nazim Skyrim wife. Alam. Okay, where's she at? We need to find her. Because if we can end their relationship, we can open Nazim up. I wonder if that's built in. Because if we can murder Nazim's wife, he'll be open probably to a relationship with us. <gasps> there she is. For my husband, Nazim. Check the Jarl's backside. So she is definitely not a fan of Nazim. This is perfect. Make sure you treat your wife with the respect she deserves. Wow, she hates Nazim. Let's start asking her some questions. Well, first we'll give her a little present. Oh man, this is taking a plot twist. If we can get Nazim's wife to cheat on him, I think that that would be the perfect way to go about this. You know, might as well take take key to my house. Am I that interesting? Or perhaps there are other things on your mind. She is so down. She is so down to get down with Frognar. So sick. Can hardly stand it. Hey, can you shut the fuck up? Ask about sexual experience. So she will not have sex before marriage. Well, I only see one way out of this predicament. Nazim is now single. I can't believe she would do that to me. She wasn't even one of the four original contestants. You know, it's difficult being the most handsome man in all of Skyrim. It really is hard, and it's unfortunate the things that I have to do to attain love. Is it Bush League for me to give to him the necklace and the rings that I took off of his wife's dead body? No. He's probably gonna enjoy them. Yeah, he loved them. Ask about current relationships. Nazim says he is married. <laughs> Nazim, I don't know how to break this to you, man, but, uh... You're happily single. You are, you are, in fact, single. Now, I don't know if you know yet, it's been a full 24 hours, but your wife is dead. This is what quick saving was invented for. We're just gonna go for it. Nazim, I am in love with you. Shit, it didn't work. No, 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 wait, Nazim, come back. I'm just gonna go in for a kiss. Screw it. Nazim, come here. Damn it, he denied me. All right, Frognar, we're gonna have to move on to the second, to the second person. Wait, 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 hold on, Nazim. I need that necklace and those rings back. Well, why are all the nice guys striking out, man? He's probably seeing some Chad behind my back and he's not telling me about it. Well, you know what happens to people that don't want a relationship with Frognar. Oh, so unfortunate. Oh, wow. He's got a lot of presents. I'm gonna take his clothes as well. I'm just gonna dress up as Nazim. Now we look fancy. Our sex appeal is probably a little bit higher. Sadia, hey. I think that we have a good opportunity to start a relationship with Sadia. I mean, look at Frognar. He's dressed for the occasion, probably wearing cologne, essence of mammoth. We'll start by just giving you a nice little diamond. She seems to enjoy it. We'll ask about sexual experience. Sadia says she lives for sex. Oh, you can't see the message. My head is blocking it. Wait, uh, I don't know if I can ask her again, but it said it right here. Oh, wait, she's green. Will she date us? Oh! We did it! What's happening? Why are we standing inside of each other? What, what, what? Now I can actually show this, maybe the... I think the mod... Hey, can you leave us alone? We're engaging in, uh... I don't know what we're engaging in. If it's work you're looking for, hold us. Stop saying this. Hey, babe, babe. Babe, we're together now? So, you gotta stop saying that. Romance, baby. Can we smooch? What happens if we smooch? Well, <laughs> we just stand inside of each other. <laughs> yeah, we are commensurating our love right now. <laughs> this is how Frognar does it. <laughs> All right, I need to rent a room. Frognar needs to get it on. Uh, uh we're, <laughs> we're we're okay. Oh, it's oh it it just says right there. Well, we might as well have an audience. We've got the music playing. What? I I I think it's broken. <laughs> I, I don't think it's working properly. Frognar of Sweden, wait, turn her, what are all these options? Wait, Sadia, <laughs> hold on, one sec. Oh my god, wait, all my clo <laughs> the clothes actually just get thrown around. So the two meters on the bottom, I think those were supposed to be our pleasure meters, and it, it looks like neither of us are enjoying this. Could you imagine walking in on this, like coming up here? Hey, you guys, what the f- Ring of minor stamina, we're gonna need it. Necklace of Minor Sure Grip. <laughs> Why did the items I get actually kind of fit what's going on? Okay, so the actual, you know, the, the, you know, what we came here for, not working with this mod, which to be quite honest with you guys, I'm actually kind of happy because when it came up and the lead up to that was actually happening, much like in real life, I was incredibly nervous, mainly because I would have had to actually admit to myself that I did that in Skyrim. Not for my own pleasure. Remember, this is educational purposes only. This is an ed this is educational content. This is not uh 
I can't. Not to me. Uh, should we just immediately try to seduce him? Oh my okay. god. Just this once. It worked? <laughs> All right, Bellathor, quick, let's get out of here. You know what? You know what? I want right here. Right here, middle of the store, Bellathor. Right now. Let's go. Yeah. Oh my god, wait, we are. We're just in the middle of the store. This guy's sweeping. <laughs> He's watching it. Yeah, get a nice view, kid. This is how, uh... This is how we do it out here in Skyrim. This is the White Run special. He's actually enjoying it a little bit too much. He's like into this. He's like, oh, what? I want it. <laughs> He's looking right over. He can't look away. He can't keep our eyes off of us. Yareleth is our final target. Maybe the Jarl. Honestly, I might as well just see if the Jarl's trying to be like, hey, what's up? You know, I can dragon shout. I can also dragon come. Frognar's just walking around town. Everyone's like, dude, that's the guy. That's the guy. He's banging everybody. Frognar started dating Sadia technically less than a day ago. And he already just ran immediately across the street to bang it out with Bellathor. Keep your distance. Okay, all right, a little bit hard to get, plain hard to get. Now, what if I just immediately walk in here and without saying anything in front of your boss, ask you about your sexual history? Let's just see what she says. Says she is far more interested in love than sex. All right, can we just get in a relationship? Confess love. <laughs> no way it worked. <laughs> I'm dating everyone in town. How about you, Jarl? Right in front of my new, right in front of my second girlfriend. Ooh, it's yellow. Might not work. Oh, it worked. <laughs> Irleth has caught you cheating. Irleth has broken up with you. No, my face cam is covering the text. It just said that she caught me cheating. Wait, Irleth. Oh, Irleth is fed up. Jarl Brogriff wants a kiss. Wait, whoa, he's like really into this. <laughs> he's really into assimilating. He just wants to make Irleth mad. <laughs> This is so stupid. And the fact that it doesn't even work and we just stand in front of each other, like, this is how we make love in this universe. I serve Jarl Balgram as steward. Ah, you're the steward? All right, well, hey, you want to smooch right in front of my <laughs> right in front of my two exes? I don't think he's noticed yet. Nice. Jarl Balgram didn't even care. All right, cool. You want to be my third boyfriend? Yes. Preventus Avencis is now your boyfriend. Now, Gerda, all I'm saying is from across the Great Hall, you were looking like a snack. You want to be my girl? Let's go. We got another one. Join it up myself. White Run Guard is now your boyfriend. <laughs> I wish you guys could see the text message that pops up. You know, Irleth is actually starting to look like the only person in this town that has a working brain. Can I get into a relationship with everyone in this town at the same time? I know you're a priest. I know you're a holy person. You probably can't have any relationships, but uh, you want to change that? This is actually a lore-friendly uh, version of romance in Skyrim. Okay, so now we have a total of like seven partners. You can't stand the side of a strong Nord woman. I can't stand the side of a single Nord woman. And there we go. Okay, we've added. We're just collecting these like Pokemon cards now. This is out of control. Uh, you might want to look away, kid. It's fun most days. Can you leave us alone, please? Is that the Ebony Warrior? Can I date the Ebony Warrior? This is a wild way to defeat the Ebony Warrior. Holy shit! Hold on. Confess love, Ebony Warrior. You are the one I've been waiting for this whole time. It is you that I love. Oh my god, it worked. The Ebony Warrior is now my boyfriend. <laughs> this is so strange. See, I almost wish that this animation worked because it would be pretty funny. But also part of me thinks that it's hilarious that they just kind of stand there. But <laughs> here we are. He's just standing there. He's going, what in the hell did I just witness? <laughs> Everyone walking by, they're just side-eyeing us. So dumb. <laughs> it's so stupid. That was actually a ton of stupid fun. I don't know if you guys actually want me to try and fix this mod so that it goes all the way. I, I don't know if I really even want to at this point after just feeling incredibly awkward getting it to the point that it got to. It, it, when it gets to the point of like, okay, I'm about, I'm about to engage in some X-rated Skyrim content. It's just so fucking strange. We destroyed Nazim's marriage. We had a massive love. It wasn't even a love triangle. It was like a love octagon throughout the entire city of Whiterun. And the Ebony Warrior, who I think is the most difficult enemy in the game, we got him to just drop all of his armor and <laughs> immediately jump in with Frognar. So yeah, I think Frognar has proved that he is the biggest Chad champion in all of Skyrim. I hope you guys enjoy, and for the fact that I had to download like 35 mods to even get this to not work properly, you should leave a like on this video. 
And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for stopping by the stupidity. Thank you to Patreons, Luke Kavara, Jack the Black, Scorch, Jordan Hart, Hammock Therapy, Arkham, and Pangy. Really appreciate it, guys. I've been having a ton of fun with the videos lately. Hope you guys have been enjoying them, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.